Hello, welcome to Crypto Insights. My name is Thomas and I'm the host of this channel. It's been a while that we've discussed NFTs. Therefore, I want to dedicate this video talking about NFTs. And more specifically, I want to aim for NFTs that provide a passive income. This means that you don't have to work hard or only anticipate on a price increase during the waiting time for holding, you receive a passive income. And it will be my top five of favorite projects to follow or to jump in. Some of them are affordable, others are more expensive, and they're all aiming for the Solana blockchain because that's where I personally focus on. If you have any recommendations, don't forget to put it in the comments. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. So with that said, let's jump into this week's video. So I want to start off this video with a small disclaimer. This is my top five Solana NFTs that generate a passive income. That doesn't mean that it's your top five. So always do your own research before you invest your hard earned money into NFTs because you might lose it all. Secondly, these are my top five favorite NFTs, but they're not ranked from best to least favorite. So therefore, they are all specifically good in their own area. So the first project that I want to discuss is the gods, which is fairly expensive with the current floor price of around 188 Solana. One Solana is $100, so you can calculate how high the floor price is in dollars. If we go to the gods web page, you can see that they have the map, the frequently asked questions, dusties and dust, which is the token that they are providing when you stake the God NFT. So if you go to the staking, we see that here you can connect your wallet and actually stake the God if you have one and 40% of the gods is staked. So they're already off the market and you cannot buy them anymore with the minimum value locked of 73 million. To learn more about staking, we go to this page. So this is the S dust ecosystem. We are building an ecosystem for buying, selling and minting blue chip NFTs with dust. So they're actually competing with magic eating and Solana art. We are working on integrating dust as an accepted currency for top tier marketplaces, magic Eden and Solana art. So besides using Solana to buy and sell NFTs, they kind of, kind of want to promote that users are also using dust to buy and sell NFTs. So you can choose, do you want to pay with Solana? Do you want to pay with dust? Besides that, they're also focusing on popular games and on the metaverse. So this is all based on promises and therefore it's a very early investment. There is already price information about the dust token. Here it is. And you can see that it's currently evaluated at $3.40. It's not ranked. There is no total supply. There is no circulating supply. The only marketplaces that are available are decentralized marketplaces. So no Binance, no coin, Coinbase. And the price uh, information is quite fluctuating. Then we go into the next project. So this was the gods. The next project is the famous Fox Federation. They have a bottom price a little bit lower of 30 Solana, which is still high for most of my viewers, I know. If I go to their webpage, you can see what you can actually do. So you can stake your Fox. So just by holding your NFT, you get a passive income of Foxy, which is the token that they, how they called it. So you can uh, use the token for upcoming releases as dense, future generations, and much more. So you can mint new NFTs that the Fox generation is releasing, but you can also futurely buy physical items as, mug, as mugs, uh, print a Foxy t-shirt or some Nazi wall art. So it, it's again, anticipating on the future purpose of Foxy. Foxy already has a value as well, which is currently evaluated at around $2 cents, and it's fluctuating in between 
three and two dollar cents for a while now it started off pretty good but then went down don't forget this is still uh, early stage you cannot yet use this currency and therefore the demand is not very high then the third project is monka labs so from all the ones that i discussed right now this is the project that i am invested in with a bottom price of three solana which is not too expensive you are partly in ownership of a launch platform. So Monka Labs is a Solana Premier Launchpad. Holders receive 50% of Launchpad fees when launching their own NFT project. So you can benefit as a passive income, but if you want to release your own NFT project, you also get 50% discount. So you can have a win-win. Then if we go to the website, so this is the website, monkalabs.io, we go to upcoming projects. So maybe for you, it's not clear. So a launch pad is a place where the initial mint of an NFT. So the initial creation of an NFT takes place. So you can be one of the first owner of that NFT. So this launch pad is providing uh, the, the, the launch pad and shares the revenue. So 50% of the revenue gets invested in the project directly. And 50% gets shared with all the holders. So you're like a, a stockholder and you receive part of the profits. I've been holding for a few months now and it's currently around 0 0.02 NFT, uh, 0 0.02 Solana per NFT. And I calculate that based on the floor value of three Solana, the yearly return is 33%. So you earn the passive income besides the fact that the price of the NFT also might go up. So how, how would you expect the price to go up? That fully depends on the projects that come to this launch pad. But I'm pretty excited because there's two big projects upcoming. The first one is in April, which is Apes Planet. And if we go to their Twitter following, so their community, they have 21,000 followers. So there is uh, 7,777 NFTs available and there is three times as much followers, meaning that only one out of three followers is able to mint this. So I'm expecting this to be sold out and get part of the revenue. Then I saw another project, which is the Orcs. And if we go there, they have a huge community. They have around 100,000, 130,000 followers. And there is only 8,888 available. So I expect that to be sold out too. And I will receive part of that revenue. So that is the reason why I hold the Monkey Labs. And that's how they generate a passive income. It almost works like a company. And instead of holding a stock, you hold an NFT. The next project is Unirex. Unirex is one of the oldest projects on Solana, but they are still developing. The marketplace is still moving. There's still liquidity and there are still purchases being done. There was one one hour ago, one two hours ago, one three hours ago. And that is because the community is just very good. And the owners of the project are, they keep developing, they keep informing the community. The floor price is the lowest from all the projects that I discussed today, which is only 0 0.58 Solana. And I'll show you my NFT as well. So this is the Unirex City website. If I go to my Unirexes and I connect my wallet, I fill in my password. So this is my NFT. Uh, you can lock it up for certain periods to receive the token. And it ends in 13 days. I currently have 346 of the currency that they uh, that is available. And based on the rarity that, because I have a fairly rare uh, Unirex ranked at 2,500 out of 12,000, I get a multiplier of two and a half. So your rank is also important in the staking. So to learn more about the currency, we go to this page. And we can see that uh, they inform that the token name may change in the future for several reasons. We share later when it happens. They expect the token to be available on exchanges within four to six months. So this is really pre, pre, pre. So I wasn't able to find any information on CoinGecko. And they anticipate on the following spending. So the use and the utility of the token will be activities, galleries, concerts, games, 
within the Unirex metaverse. NFT sales and leasing. So they are trying to create a, a form where you can actually lend out your NFT uh, through smart contracts and getting paid for that. There is also fees for consumption in the game and for uh, playing the game. And besides that, you can spend it on charity. So you can actually hold an NFT and the rewards that you get with that NFT from staking, you can give it to charity. So you can actually do something good with your NFT as well. Then we go to the last but not least project, which is DeFi Pirates. DeFi Pirates doesn't give a direct passive income, but an indirect passive income. And I'll show you how. Because DeFi Pirates gives you access to liquidity pools. So you can earn higher rewards than in normal liquidity pools. So this is kind of exclusive, meaning that there is only a few that have access to these pools. Lefinity Flares is doing exactly the same. So you can have the Soul Booster where you can earn 22% uh, per year, while, for example, Celsius is only giving you 8 to 9% per year, so double, and Ethereum Booster of 13.28% per year, which is also twice as high as a normal um, Ethereum rewards that you get for CeFi or other DeFi's know that there is a higher risk so these pools need to be secured and you need to trust that you might lose all your funds but therefore your rewards are also a lot higher so this is my top five of uh, favorite nfts that generate a passive income on the solana blockchain let me know if i missed any project that you think for sure should fit in let me also know what you thought about this video and what else you would like to know and i hope to see you next time bye